Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, I've got still quite a few questions of people asking me about the extensions for Windows 10, and what will I use, where will I uh, want to go, so will I uh, use Zero Patch, will I use Windows Update, um, first of all it will depend to me on the pricing, which means that the price that the updates are going to cost will tell me which one to use. Now, some have asked me if there were differences between the one that Microsoft does and the extension we'll get. And the uh, one that Zero Patch does. And yes, they're not the same exactly. Zero Patch actually concentrates itself on what is the most important patches in the operating system so there might be some you know um, we have different levels of of updates we have important critical we have moderate and we have low well they might not focus on the low end or moderate it will all depend on how bad the situation is so they focus on what's really important in the patching of of your operating system uh, Microsoft with the extension will be patching like it usually does. Well, it's going to continue patching pretty much everything it knows, whatever the level. So it's not exactly the same, but overall, um, after years of zero patch updates and all of that, we can see that yeah, it's it's fine. You know, it works the, the way they do it is it works fine. Now there are some differences also in the way that the updates will happen. Windows updates will continue to work once you have paid for the extension through your Windows update. So once that is done, Windows update will continue working the way it is and get its patch Tuesday security updates on the second Tuesday of every month. So it's, it'll be the same kind of pattern that everybody's used to. So I expect a lot of people will go there because that's where we, you know, most people are kind of know where, how it works. Uh, zero patch, the way it works is that you'll have a little piece of software that you're going to download and install. It's going to work in the background. And instead of showing up through Windows Update, actually, it's micro patches that will be sent out and pushed for Windows through that little piece of software. And these updates are actually going to be uh, smaller and are often going to be pretty much seamless. You won't even know that's something installed uh, compared to Windows Update which tells you we're updating so this is where it's all happening so I will be checking out what pricing uh, if Microsoft does it for a really low price I'll prefer the Microsoft updates but if um, if zero patch is the, the, the one that's the cheapest then uh, or if Microsoft is really too expensive we don't know yet for home users how much it's going to be. Um, I don't expect it to be very high, but you never know uh, with Microsoft wanting everybody to move on to Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.